In Coffee Group today, we are joined by psychologist Chantal and counsellor Shirley from Renew Your Mind. They teach mindful parenting courses in Auckland. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Now, in your line of work, uh, you must hear a lot of parenting myths. Would that be right? Yes. So, Chantal, what are the parenting myths that, what are the problems with them? Parenting is a tough job. And if you add all these unrealistic expectations, you're adding a lot of pressure that is really not helping. Yeah, so we're talking about things that maybe if you look at people's Instagram accounts exactly, and you see yeah. their perfect child their perfect child wearing skills, that yes. sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe and their, a few their myths perfect in there. houses and the kids always look happy and clean <laughs> and, and it's just not realistic. Sit down, mummy wants to take a photo, you will look happy. <laughs> exactly. Um so Shirley, what's one of the parenting myths that you find that stands out for you? Yeah, I mean, one of the ones that I was always intrigued by was the idea that children need quality time. And I remember reading things like 15 minutes every day, one-on-one -on -one focused attention, and you could set a timer so that they would know when it was over, or taking your children out for a date, you know, like a regular one-on-one -on -one date. I can't even find the time to do that with my husband. So <laughs> yeah. trying to do that with each of my five children, I thought if that's what they need, then they're really stuffed because it's not happening. So you're talking about th th there was myths that you should yep. set a timer and yep. go, OK, your quality time's yep. over. I remember reading this. And now, of course, what I've realised is it's the quality of the time that they actually have that matters. So it's the muddle of our everyday family lives, choosing to take time to pay attention to be available to have fun when it happens, not to try and create it, okay. to be able to listen, you know, all of those things so that it's the quality of the atmosphere that they're growing up in so that they feel like they've got good connection and they've got good, um, you know, good bonding on a daily basis mm. rather than these kind of short, sharp, intensive, supposedly amazing Because sometimes though, that quality time that you've manufactured, like you say, it doesn't actually, it's never a happy time for anyone. Whereas <laughs> really the quality time that you get. It's yeah. disappointing. Yeah, isn't it just? <laughs> just such pressure for the kids for them to be well behaved for them to really enjoy the food for them to have a lot of fun and for them to suddenly open up and be honest and the parents Those are also saying the same thing on cue. Yeah. you want that you want that quality time and everyone's got to be happy a couple yeah. of weeks ago when we had those uh, the, the floods in Auckland best quality time ever went out yes. and just waded through the flood water it was so much fun yeah. Chantal what about you what stands out for you the parenting myth well one of the things I've I often notice is that this myth that children need to be happy most of the time at least and when they're not happy there's something wrong okay um, and I think it's actually really unnatural because adults are not happy all the time so why should our children be um, and when you just create a bit of space for them to be to be it okay for them to be upset or angry or just grumpy then it takes a lot of pressure away mm. that sounds like really a bit of a relief because no one has happy children all of the time no one's no. happy all the time so how does it how does it actually work though well for example my my um, eldest child is four and he has a bit of a an, an anger uh, outburst every now and then and and we try to find ways that he can it's okay for him to be angry not all the uh, behavior is okay so we have boundaries around what expression that can have but the emotion is okay so for example um, we had visitors the other day that came in and were a bit shocked because my four-year-old was in his room screaming and I was like oh it's okay he's just having an angry moment he'll come back when he's ready and they're going like right we're not coming <laughs> so back to visit him for a while <laughs> yeah. these guys are crazy but yeah. that is true sometimes they just need it don't they they just need mm. you to say okay I know you're grumpy just get it out of your system for a yeah. bit then come yeah. you'll be fine don't break anything but yeah. Go on, let it out, and then when you're done, come back come and we back can talk about it. And accept them as it. Shirley, what do you think on that? Yeah, I mean, a good example for me is how I got this wrong consistently for many years, which was picking the kids up from school every day. And I thought I was so lucky because I didn't have to, you know, be at work for that time. And so I was going to make the use of the time. So every day, how was your day? Yeah. Tell me about your day. And I'd either get silence or I'd get a catalogue of bad news from the day and I was so frustrated that it turned into really poor quality time and now I go and I have no idea what they'll need they might need empathy they might need listening they might need silence but what they get is good quality ordinary everyday time yeah it's the ordinary that is actually the best of the best at mm. times isn't it Chantal and Shelley thank you so much for coming in today thank you. Thank you.